Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Thursday, August 4th, 2022 Planning Board meeting. I'd like everyone to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Introduction of board members. All the way to the left, we have Polly Matucci, Jerry Graybill, Dave Andreessen, myself, Michael LaRue, Phil Roy, and Matt Henry. We also have Jen McCabe, the code enforcement officer, Shannon Rogers, the ad admin assistant to the planning department, and Tammy Bellman, the town planner. Okay, first uh, public comment is open. So I'm going to uh, take part in public comment. I'm going to recuse myself, uh, step off, and address the board. You guys talking? No. Okay. Nope. All right. All right. Good evening. I'm Dave Andreessen. I live at 10 Dobson Road in Berwick. Um, Coming here today to talk about the letter that we received from um, you guys yep. um, and kind of get some answers of what is entailing the letter. Uh, Dobson Road was put in there in 2010. Uh, the association stood up in 2011. So um, this is the first that we're really hearing about this. Now I know that you run a very tight ship. I know that you do. <laughs> and I know that probably this should have been addressed three town planners ago, but it wasn't. So I need to find out what's going on. I also need to ask for an extension. The reason I need to ask for the extension is we, I saw the, um, the trucks out there and then I get the letter in the mail. Um, I used to be on the board 19 months ago. I was the treasurer. I've since stepped off. Um, so, but I have the form here to talk to, about this with the two people that the letter's from. So, um, number one, I, I like an extension. 60 days is way too short. Um, we need to have a meeting. All the homeowners, the 20 homeowners, need to have a meeting and discuss what this is and how to fix it and how much money it's going to cost. We do not have a lot of money. We collect dues uh, every year. Uh, I won't say how much they are we pay but we do collect dues every year we do have a small amount of money in our account um, but that's to hire the landscaper come in twice a year and that's essentially and, and to carry the insurance policy on our on our common areas so um, I like to ask for an extension of 120 days that would put us out to 180 days um, to have this taken care of what is this for the, okay. what is the, the other background? The, the other reason being, uh, I'll, I'll let I'll let Tammy get into that. Um, yeah, would you be able to answer his question? Yeah, what it is is Dobson Road, right? Yes. Was taken over by the town, but when the subdivision went in, it has numerous basins, stormwater basins, along with outfalls. Okay, and according to the subdivision agreement, the homeowners association would maintain them because they're in their backyards. And then as far as the road goes, the town of Berwick cleans out all the catch basins. So when we did the inspection last year, we could not find some of them. This year, we were lucky. We found them and they had some extra growth in them. So that has to be cleaned out so that the stormwater can funnel through the way it's supposed to. And a couple of the levelers had also been covered over, if I can remember correctly. So those have to be re-exposed so that the levelers can do their job to absorb the water and funnel it the way it needs to be going. This is something that Christy and I do. We do the inspections on it. It's actually quite fascinating. I know probably not to most people, but my brain it did. So we, being at the town, 
don't always find out who the homeowner association president is. Jobson Road is not a real lengthy road. So instead of contacting one person and hoping, well, maybe that's them or sending it to just one, I was hoping by contacting everybody, we would be able to find out who the president of the homeowners association is so that we can then work with them as far as getting the extension, as you said, and if there's anything else that needs to be done. The president of the association is Kyle Heon. Um, Kyle who? Kyle Heon, H-E-O-N. He's been the uh, president since the association uh, stood up. Okay. Uh, I believe that was 10 years ago. Uh, like I said, I was the treasurer. Yep. Um, David Ross Lyons, who used to be on the board, is the vice president, and we no longer have a uh, secretary. He, the secretary moved, and the treasurer is Kyle as well. So I think uh, within the next two weeks, I, I'm going to say two weeks because I'm not going to get out there tomorrow and say we have a meeting t on tomorrow on, right. on Saturday yeah because I think I, that we have a meeting this following Saturday yeah even with, with with your homeowners association I think there's a protocol for your meetings how you have to notify everybody there and is the time and there is and all of that yes so, there is correct we have we have the yeah we have the bylaws yeah um, but I would like to uh, to hold a meeting and let everybody know because I got a lot of people coming over my house and a lot of people know I'm on the planning board, yep. and a lot of people are asking me questions, and I tell them I can't answer them until the meeting. So that's why I'm doing this, um, yep. you know, on the books instead of off the books. I thought about coming by your office today, um, but I just, I, you know, and I told, I told people, it was it Channel 98? Yeah, Channel 98 on Comcast. Yeah, you guys have Comcast? Channel 28. No, what's, Channel 98 is the is the. Yes, is the live meetings are held on is Channel 98, 95? Channel 22 is like... Uh, 95. I think it's 95, 95. right? Bobby Joe's in there yelling at Channel yeah, 95. So <laughs> Bobby Joe, Channel 95, yeah. um, which I'm, yeah, live on right now. Uh, I told people, <laughs> we have a meeting. Uh, if they have Comcast, they can watch the meeting. But um, I do want to get that, um, I want to get a meeting. Uh, I'm not the president anymore. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to, people are coming to me. Uh, for answers, I'm going to get a meeting within the next two weeks on a Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. We're going to address all this. Um, and if we have anything else, I will come to you. Okay. Super. Uh, or if but I, I would like, to. I would, I, I'm asking you out of the kindness of your heart to give us not 60 days, to give us an 120 day extension. Okay. I, will get, I will get a hold of Christy first thing Monday morning because I'm back here in Berwick on Monday. To find out how long an extension we can give you, and I will be right in touch with you. Okay. As soon as I get an answer. Okay. And I mean, it may be as simple as providing a letter from your homeowners association. You would like 120 days additional extension on it. It may be that simple. Yeah. And if it is, that's wonderful. That's all we need. Okay. But, but I just need to know what we're doing because a lot of this is on town land. Uh, not the outfalls around the homeowner's property. You don't. Ha you don't Correct. have to do anything within the in the the right of way of the road or the road. All the the spread the level spreaders I was talking about, the two that are on the list, those are all on the side of somebody's property. It's private. Well, let property. me just ask you. My last question: <laughs> Why is this coming up after twelve years? <coughs> because when we went out to do the inspections, the outfalls failed. I How often are the inspections done? Once a year. So the inspections weren't done the last 12 years. I can't answer that, okay. David. I'm okay. sorry. I know, a lot, I know when we went out last November, right after I got here, we could not find some of them. And we just didn't right. wait around and search. Right. So this year when we tag team to do it, I used a little hunting skills to do it, <laughs> to be able to track where we needed to go based on what is on your subdivision plan. And that's yeah. how we were able to locate them. And, and okay, I know I said this is the last thing, but the last thing I have <laughs> is, uh, sorry, is we are, we are looking at dissolving the Homeowners Association. They did that up in Ireland Drive. They did that. Um, and the only thing that we have is we have to pay for the lights. 
Ireland Drive does not have to pay for the lights. Those were taken over by the town. So. Yeah, I think there's a process you have to go to. There is, and it has yeah. to go to a town vote. Yep. But that is something that we would love that we would love to do. Um, so. I will try to find out also from Christy what happens if you do dissolve the HOA. Is this deeded for them? Yeah, it's it's yep. in their deeds. Yep. Okay. Is it in yep. yours? What's that? I asked her if this was all in your deeds. You have oh, to yeah. be. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's all Tammy, I have. Tammy, just trying to get smart on the on the topic and, and two questions. When you went to inspect the uh, the runoff areas, the outfalls, I assume there was a design drawing from the yep. developer originally. Yep. Is this due to a recurring maintenance issue or is it a design flaw in how it was designed? Nope. It's called Mother Nature. Okay. So yep. this is a recurring maintenance Correct. issue that's gonna happen. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. All right, thank you. Okay. Anyone else for public comment? Maybe you reinstated. <laughs> oh, yes, you're reinstated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no more public comment, no public hearings. Approval of minutes July 21st, 2022. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, July 21st, you mean? Yeah, July, yeah, that's what I said, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I make a motion that we approve the July twenty first, twenty twenty two meeting. Okay, Jerry. Uh, Jerry, you weren't here. So I'll second. I was on the phone. He was. Oh, he was zooming. That's okay, right. so that zooming. needs to be amended then. Yeah. I was so, not hold on. Jerry. Did you get it? I will. Uh, I will amend my motion. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> make a motion that we approve the minutes as amended. Okay. Did you get that amendment, Tammy? Yep. Okay. She didn't get it. I know I didn't. Get it. Can, you, can you tell Shannon? Jerry was actually on Zoom. Zoom, yeah. Yep. He was not absent. So it was just oh, did I? Phil. Yep. Yeah. It's okay. Yes. I'm sorry. It's just. No, because my minutes don't have. Yeah. Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> so Jerry seconded. My apologies. Um, further discussion? Yeah. All in favor? Um, well, Phil, you're abstaining. So all in favor? Okay. So approved. He's on there. Yeah, he's on chair. Can you give me who motioned and second, please? Yep. Uh, it was Dave motioned yep. as amended and Jerry seconded. Okay. Thank now, you. Now, Jerry, you're looking at the site walk section on the minutes. Oh, yeah, you weren't there for the for site, site walk. But you are present for the meeting on the second page. Ah, uh, okay. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. It yeah. says via Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and, unless your ghost was with us. Can I have a piece uh, of paper? Oh, okay. All right. Like They're spiritual. Okay. And They're just so used to seeing it right up on, on the front. front. Yeah. Okay. They got it on both. Okay. <laughs> So, moving to old business, findings of facts, conditional use, Daniel West, Danielle West, and Jennifer um, Davis. Mr. Chair, yeah. could I make a suggestion? Seeing that you're only approving their findings of facts and you have the new applicants here, you might want to reorder the agenda and do the new applicants and hear them before Well, then I'm going to talk to one of them first before you well, let's just keep going then. Okay. <laughs> All right. uh, Jennifer Davis, 12 Sullivan Street, tax map U4, lot 146, unit 107, Mint Preventative Dental Spa, PLLC. Okay, the applicant's not here? Uh, no, not, but Tammy okay. has agreed to be the uh, Their representative, if there's yeah, any representative representative for this one and yeah. the next two. All right, I make a motion that we approve the findings of fact. I'll second that. And good news, Mint Preventative Dental has their fire marshal permit. Nice. Thanks. Excellent. Okay, uh, further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Yep. So this one you don't have to put names in. Unless they abstain or deny. And then the next one, findings of facts, conditional use, Allison Hurley, 12 Sullivan Street, Tax map U4, lot 146, unit 101, the Bad Wolf Butcher and Deli. Yeah, and she did come in to amend her site plan. 
So that you know, that was done like the next day. She set right. up an appointment with Jenny to come in. Okay. And of course she did. <laughs> <laughs> and she has also received her fire marshal's authorization. Great. I make a motion that we approve the findings of fact, conditional use for this application. I'll second that. Okay, further discussion? All in favor? Okay, thank you. Uh, next one is findings of facts, conditional use, Sherry Clement, 12 Sullivan Street, tax map U4, lot 146, unit 116, Primal Fit, Main, LLC. Okay. So this one is the only one that doesn't have the fire marshal approval it, yet, but correct. it's still we, in the conditions. Right. We were hoping we would have it back today because the fire marshal and Jenny have been talking repeatedly over the last three days yep. for lengthy conversations. So yep. we think he's got everything he needs okay. now and it shouldn't be but maybe a day I'm hoping yeah. before we get it. Yeah. So but part of her condition is she has to have that permit before the CL can be issued. Right. I make I make a motion that we uh, approve the findings of fact, conditional use application. Okay, further discussion? All in favor? Okay, there's that. Okay, moving right along. New business, site plan expansion amendment, Harvey Paul easygoing recreational sales, 569 Portland Street, map R27, lot 9-1. Hi, I'm Harvey Paul, um, here for uh, a small addition on uh harvey can you speak up just a little bit they're not going to be able to hear you out on hey yeah <laughs> there, we <go. laughs> there we go um harvey paul uh, here about uh, addition on uh property on route four um and we're looking just to expand the the approved showroom uh for uh, rec cannabis um and you'll see in the paperwork, we're just trying to do 100 square feet on each side of the showroom. Doesn't involve anything, water, none of that. It's just expanding just the space itself. Um, pretty is that, simple, pretty cut and dry. on the drawing? I'm just yeah. trying to see where it's at. Yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah. I can show you. I don't have color copies for me. No worries. I'm just trying to make heads or tails. See where it's dotted right here? Yeah. Yeah. Where it comes out here? Oh, I see. Just yep. take it's pretty. It's pretty minor. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you're adding on each end of that. Part yeah, of the hundred square feet on each side. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost. I mean, it's almost not worth doing. But it the, helps to have the powers to be thinking. Yeah, that, yeah, everybody kind of thinks that that space is going to matter. Okay. Uh, which, which is, I think, is questionable. But it's it slowed us up for for quite a while because you guys have been busy and what have you. But yeah. here we are. Um, one thing that I've been looking at is you have like seven different conditional uses for all the applications that you have in. Right. Um, half the chair doesn't even know the conditions. Right. Um, so I, I just kind of want to make sure that, um, they're up to date and everything's as it should be. Right. Is that mm -hmm. okay? Yep. Yeah. And there was some stuff sent, I guess, this week. Well, Last week. Well, regarding your extraction, I those are also oh, I, on the agenda. That, and that's what we're talking about. Or no, no. Oh, we're talking just, about the. Yeah, this is just a ten by ten yeah. on each side. Yeah. yeah, you do have quite a few conditional uses on that property. Sure. And what the conditional uses are affecting is the parking area and the emergency vehicles getting around. So. The board, I'm hoping, will suggest that you and I sit down to discuss how all these conditional uses are going to play into one another, or if you want to withdraw one, two, Well, nine. I mean, there's, there's, there's plenty of acreage there to do whatever we want. I mean, so well, right. no. you guys need. Well, you, you have conditions assigned with your conditional uses. Mm -hmm. So well, I mean, whether or not... Move, we can move them around if you want. I mean, whatever you... It's, I mean, whatever you want to do, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's It'll have to be done to change a conditional use. You'd have to have it modified by the board. 
So that's why I want to sit down and talk. Modified as in the paperwork? I modified see, because, as, because as the in the property, there's, there's, yeah, there's so space to do anything. Right, you have do. a lot of space, but you've already identified what you're using certain spaces as. Right. Right. And then, so it's just trying to get everything to line up. And we move it around or whatever. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, so whatever. if anything's moved and it's supposed to be in a certain area, it's got to be in that certain area. It's um, just case, yeah. the, the biggest examples was just a vehicular access. Vehicle access and then parking and circulation. Um, and then the emergency vehicle access, like what Tammy said, those are just the three keys that um, she was... I know nothing's happened out there, but if somebody else comes in behind me and takes a look at this, I would not want to think of what they could do to you because it wasn't done the way it should have been. That's, that's fine. Yeah, that's I mean, I just, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, just with the amount of area that's there, we can move stuff over if it makes you happy. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Well, and that could also be accomplished by if you approve his conditional use for the expansion to do an existing revised site plan and that way it will have all of the changes listed on it and going forward if he wanted to do something different he would then be able to use that site plan as the existing one well, the, I mean, it's the only as thing, built yeah oh yeah that's yeah. fine but i mean the only thing is the only thing that's changing is is just the actual uh, rec storefront and that's already been approved the, the storefront has been approved, yeah. correct. So, and I mean, all we're doing is adding a square on each side of that. So, I mean, I don't see what, I, I mean, I'll, I'll do whatever you want to do. Yeah, no, just meet with me. Yeah. Just meet with me. That's all you have to do. I have them all right here. It's Harvey, fine. and we can take yeah, a look fine. at them. Yep. I just, yeah. 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 Don't make, yeah, don't, let's not make more. Right. It's I got just enough trouble. The I, I, got, I got enough trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever yeah. you guys want, we'll do, and however you want to do it. Yeah, yeah. I think all they're saying is they want to protect your rights. So if, you, yeah, if there's something not get it. down, you get, it can come back right. Yeah. Right, and cause right. an issue for you. I, and and I appreciate it. And, 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 and you know, if the board approves this in two weeks, four weeks, whatever it is, if somebody sees it and they've been watching what's going on, they can then take you to court. And I'm trying to avoid that portion of it. Yeah. Tammy, would there be value in, in merging any of the uses or is that even allowed? No, you can't move them. Okay. No, right. I so have they, to follow. They are independent I, of each other. Yeah, yeah and they all, unfortunately, they all have specific conditions assigned okay. to them. Right. So that's why I want to meet with him so he can see exactly what I'm looking at. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's, they, I mean so. there's, there's a list of conditions now because you have seven different applications that have gone through and conditional uses. So mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. we're trying to tie it all together. If we can remove some, we can remove some. Fine. If they're over redundant, that's we're yeah. just trying to tighten yeah, it that, all up. That, yeah. Whatever's yeah. easiest. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking for a motion to approve the addition of the two 100 square foot corners. Is that Find correct? his application complete, complete yep. for a site walk yep. and a public hearing if you so desire. I vote that we find the application complete with the condition that he meets with Tammy to sort out the yep. multiple use issues. I'll second that. Okay, for the discussion. Yeah, uh, I'm just wondering, we've been there two or three times. I, I'm right, not right. sure that we need another site walk. Uh, it's just pretty straightforward. It, it's the site, the site walk would be to approve the two outbuildings. So you could see exactly where it was gonna be done. And if, the, if you have questions like I do regarding the other conditional uses, you'd be able to see them also at that time. I think the only condition, my only concern would be, and it appears from the drawing that he meets setback, it's not. One, there's an issue with one of the setbacks. There is issues with one of the setbacks. What is, what is that issue? He's got vehicles parked in the setback, and based on our ordinance, he cannot park his vehicles in the setback. Okay. What He's vehicles are parked in the setback? Huh? On your front border, your front property oh, line. I move. Sure. I mean, well, see, but that's, see, that's just what, those vehicles are not going to be there when the, when the rec store goes in. That's only there because we're running a car lot there, and we don't want to park them over on the side. I mean, I mean, and we're kind of splitting Wait. hairs here. I mean, I get what you're doing, but you're beating on me a little bit. I, I mean, I I have to go by what's in these because they're all part of your part of your property. Yeah, but you're dictating where I can park cars on my used car lot. 
setbacks. Actually, be stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's yeah. right. So I'm moving. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah. come on. Right. 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 This, over here, this doesn't have, have anything to do I mean, with finding your your stuff complete. This is just stuff for moving on. That's when, fine. When, when, and and if they come out and see how you have taken care of and moved everything the way it's supposed to be, that's even to your benefit for the public hearing. Yeah. Well. Yeah. All right. I mean, you guys got to have something better to do. I mean. So to, to Paul's point, I think Paul was the one that brought it up. We've been out there. Thank you, Paul. If it's not, he's kicking out two corners is what I'm seeing on, on the map. Does that really necessitate a, a site walk? I don't think That's so. That's your call. I, I do not think so. I feel quite comfortable that if right. you're going to stick to this blueprint, that we could forego that. And also, if, if, the, if the issue is where cars are parked, and just to make that clear, we can make that clear without have, having to go and kick the tires on those cars. Right. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Well, Depends on the Damien and I could <laughs> go, go over there, and if you have any issues, we can we can discuss that. Is that within the realm of our scope to be able to do that? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. I, I, would, I second that. I would like to find the applicant complete with the condition that he meets with Tammy and sorts out the multiple use. No, I'll second that. Okay. Further discussion. Actually, we had we had <laughs> a motion and a second. So you just repeated it. Okay. That's fine. Well, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they don't leave for yeah. 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 oh, you. Go. <laughs> I feel right. good about that. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, as for scheduling for the site, site walk, no one wants to do the site walk. Um, so Tammy and I will just convene with you and, and we'll talk about all these issues. So okay. the, do you, does the board want to do a public hearing? Because um, I, last time, every time they've come, no one has gone to the I public don't think hearing. So. I, don't, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, we're talking about 100, 100 feet and 100 feet. feet. Yeah. That's it. Are Square we, feet. If we don't, Square. so my only concern for you, if we don't do the public hearing, are, are we setting you up for failure if somebody wants to? Whatever you got. You guys know No, because they already accepted. They already yeah. have their licensing. They are, they're, this is okay. just to I, add I don't think so. to the building. I don't just, think so. I don't think we need it either. So I, 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 I thank you guys for that. Yeah, thank you. Right. Yeah, you've already done this like five or six yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the pay work. I'm thinking, but when ten, it changes, when it ten changes, by ten and ten by ten, I mean, this is a lot. Right. Right. Yeah, right. We're, we're getting beat up. Okay. okay. Can you meet with me either Monday or Thursday of next week? Whatever you need. You pick the day. I'm here Monday and Thursday, so. Uh, let, let's do Thursday next week. Okay. Sure, Thursday. Yep. Do you have a parameter of time or? I you want to get back with me and then I can let Mike know? Let's do that. Yeah, because okay. I don't know where I'm going to be. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you can't make it, I can make it. Okay. I'm home. Um, so moving right along, uh, public comment. Well, thank, yeah. you. Yeah. thank you. Hey, th thank you guys. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Have a great night. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Bye, guys. Sorry. Yes, right. <laughs> right. No, when, when Tammy showed me all the, the lists, of the uses, the conditional use in the, I was like, wow, we should try and merge these if possible. Um, but all right, moving right along. Second public comment. None. None? Nobody okay. online. So next. Nobody online. Yeah, nope, doesn't look like anyone's online. Informational items, handout ordinance approved updates. <laughs> ordinance approved updates. The new ordinances that were voted in by the community of Berwick have been now put into the land use ordinance, the subdivision ordinance, the marijuana licensing uh, application. Me, cannabis. Cannab I'm sorry, cannabis. <laughs> but we got to change it on this. It, everything's got to get changed. Got to get changed. Yep. And also the cannabis, cannabis establishments licensing ordinance. I provided you with copies of them. We will get the marijuana change to cannabis. Alrighty, yep. so we'll have that for the next meeting. We'll get you new copies of it. And for the packet with the land use on the top, if you take the page that you're seeing out of your book and put this page in, you'll be right in order. Okay. <laughs> it yep. took us a while to get that squared away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They also have the disorderly the Yep, and the disorderly building, because you were such a big part of that, right. I made sure that you get a copy of it also. That has gone to the police department, and it's also everything's updated on the website now. So, okay. 
All right, so next informational items is going easy extractions, conditional use, re required submissions, odor control, and security system. Yes, we neglected to put the waste management piece on. When the attachments were sent over, they were two pages and two pages. Didn't think to look at the second page on one of them. Mm -hmm. As part of their conditions of approval, those documents are now in their folder okay. based on what they sent to me. And they, they look, to me, they look pretty good. Yes, yeah, I, I looked at so. the, um, the odor mitigation stuff and that, that seems like it's well above uh, what they really need. We're training back here, sorry. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, um, then, yep. any other informational items? Jen, you got anything? I got nothing no? besides <laughs> a day off tomorrow. We're right? actually doing 35 minutes. Oh no. Less than that, let's yeah. go. <laughs> if there are no uh, further <laughs> items for consideration from the esteemed Burgess meeting room in the depths of the Berwick Town Hall, I'd like a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? 7 1 p.m. All right. Thank you.